G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about in the inclusion of viral dances within your wedding dance. Let's have a look. So today we're going to be talking about the inclusion of viral dance steps within your wedding dance. Now I've had a few couples come and talk to me a lot about that recently um, in particular um, and I, I'm a mix, mixed emotions about including that. I'm very old school in terms of trying to keep a lot of class involved with your wedding dance because it's such a, it's, it is a serious moment um, in that you know it's such an important part of your wedding day your wedding day being one of the most important parts of your life. <laughs> so from that perspective, I, I'm a firm believer in keeping a, an element of class to your wedding dance. Um, so today I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on you know, when would be appropriate to include any viral dances in your dance um, and how to tastefully pull it off. So first and foremost, a lot of couples that have mashup routines I feel open the doors up to more of an opportunity to include viral dances. If you've just got the one sort of slow romantic dance for your wedding dance, then I don't think it's going to be appropriate for you to include a viral dance within it. I think it's really going to take away and rob you of your special moment together. And I think it would be one of those moments that you would just look back on and just cringe um, if you were to do so. So I definitely think first and foremost that if you're going to have a mashup of songs put together for your wedding dance, I think that's going to be a good starting point. Make sure that, like I said, if you are having a mashup, don't include that in the first part of your, of your dance, if it's gonna be more, the, more slow, serious type of uh, wedding dance at the beginning. Um, and then when you transition into the next song and have more of a fun sort of ending to it, then I, that will be a good starting point to include it. You don't wanna sell yourself um, off though with that because you, it's, it's something that's just a bit like I said, to me, I think it's a bit corny, um, but at the same time, if, if you execute it properly and at the appropriate time within even the second half of your wedding dance in a mashup, uh, you can pull it off quite well and make it look quite nice. So um, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things, it's a big bag of emotions, like they're all fun and we like to see them, but yeah, I think there's the rest of the night for dancing uh, with your friends and family to have that sort of um, fun with. Uh, and try and keep your, your wedding dance itself a lot more serious. Another element to consider when wanting to include any viral dances is the music. There are a lot of viral dances out there that have been created to a certain song. Uh, and to give you an example, I had a couple uh, last year where they allocated a part of the end of their wedding dance to whatever the viral dance of the time that they got married happened to be. And at that time, the viral dance to do was, or if you can even call it that, was Drake's song, In My Feelings, where they hop out of a car and they, you know, they dance on the outside of the car as the car's moving. So what we ended up doing is, obviously we didn't have a car in the wedding reception, but what we got to do is we got to pretend that she was driving and like he was on the outside of the car on the other side of her like doing it like <laughs> getting along with it so um that can work so if you're going to have a song and uh, that has a particular viral dance that you're going to do try and pick the song that, that that matches that because then that's gonna sell it a lot better than trying to include it in in sort of really distasteful sort of half-assed um parts of other songs or in your more serious dance and it yeah like I said it just I feel if you want to maintain a certain level of class it's going to rob you guys of that that moment uh, and it's going to show everyone that you're not taking it very seriously especially in that more romantic side of the of the wedding dance um, again like I said in the in a mashup where you've got other more fun dances and songs towards the end Look, you can get away with it, absolutely. But um, yeah, try not to include it in the first part, more serious romantic side, side of the dance. And if you are gonna have a mashup, really try and have it match the, the, the song that was intended for that viral dance. 
Well, that does it for today's video, guys. Uh, thanks very much for listening. I hope you got a bit out of that. It has sort of helped you make up your mind as to whether or not you want to include a viral dance in your wedding dance. Um, try and keep it classy. Have a bit of fun when you're supposed to, but don't rob the romantic moments uh, of the more serious side by including something that's a bit tacky uh, in that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload. And I'll see you when I'm looking at you. See you guys.